Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you guys are here. Three things to do if you want more clients or customers today. I'm not talking six months from now. I'm not talking three months from now. I'm talking if you want clients or customers today, I'm going to give you three things that you can do right away. And each and every one of you are going to be able to implement this. This is not hard. It's not rocket science. Um, but I'm going to go over them all and I want you guys to take good notes real quick here because if you want to get more clients and customers, just do these three things. Just start out. And I want you to type that in there real quick. Type it in the comments. Three things. Type it in there. Just type it in there real quick. Let me know that you guys are engaged and ready to take some action today. I'm going to keep bringing you the heat. I just need to know you guys are going to take action with it. What's going on, Kimberly? How are you? Welcome. Jeremy Brown, how are you, sir? Glad to see you, man. Um, listen, guys, this is good stuff that I'm going to provide to you right now. Adil, how are you, sir? Arnold, what's going on, man? How are you? Three things, three things, three things. Okay. Gina says three things. Thank you, Gina. Frederick from France. There's our buddy Frederick from France right there. All right, three things. All right, hey, Kim, how are you? Candace Mayhew, how are you, Candace? All right, so you want to grow your business, right? That's, that's, that's our goal here. We want to grow our business, so I'm going to show you how to do it right here. It's, it's pure and simple. It's not hard, not rocket science, but um, you've got to do it. You got to do something. Now, I could give you an exhaustive list. There's so many things that you could do, but I'm just going to give you a couple simple ones, right? Or actually, three simple ones that you can do. Number one that I want you to focus on, okay, is I want you to apply childhood advice. Now, how many of you remember, like when you were a kid, it's, it's different nowadays, but when you were a kid, you used to go to the playground and your, your mom or dad or whoever took you to the playground or both of them, they say, would you get away and go make a friend, right? And, and you would hug, hang on to their leg and, no, mom, no, mom. You're like, get off of my leg, kid. Go make a friend, right? You know what I'm talking about? Type it in there. Type in, go make a friend if you know what I'm talking about, right? That's, we were told that as kids, go make a friend. Well, you see, in the world we live in today, we live in this social arena where everybody is vying for your attention right now. What if you were able to go out there into the social arena and instead of trying to get people to buy stuff from you all the time, you focus on trying to become their friend. How can you help them? What can you do? So what Facebook group are you in right now as a business, like in my, in my local market here in Lynchburg, I'm in a very, very popular group. Uh, living in Lynchburg has about, I think it's like 50,000 members in that group. I'm in that group as my local business, not me as Jamie. I'm in there as my business, okay? Um, I joined it as my business because um, uh, it was recommended to me to go to that group. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll go there. But I want to go as my business into that group. And you can, you can, if that group allows it, you can join as your business. Now, what most people do is they go into these groups and they start posting, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. Look at this deal. Look at this deal. Look at this deal. Buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. Nobody cares. They never get interaction. But if you go in there and you start providing value and then you see there's somebody that needs some assistance on something that you can help with, reach out to that person. Reach out to them with a genuine heart, not a dollar symbol heart. Oh, I wonder if I can get some money out of them if I do something nice for them. No, that's not what we're focused on. What we're focused on is serving them. How can we serve them and become a friend? And you know what? What's kind of cool about that? is the guy that runs that page. His name is Kip. And Kip and I, I consider us buddies now. We're friends. Like, and I don't do it too much in that group in regards to posting as, hey, look, my business has stuff for sale. I don't do that at all. What happens is by me serving the local community the way I do in these groups, I'll be darned if Kip and other people in that group expose my business for me. I never have to mention anything. It's so staggering if you go out there as a business and go into these groups and you go in with a servant heart, the, the ripple effect that comes back to your business is staggering. It's really uh, amazing. Now, number two that I want to discuss right now is creating consistent content. All right. Now, before I get into this, I want to make sure that we're all still eager and ready. We want some more content. Okay. Who's loving this content so far? 
Okay, make lots of friends. Christy Ryder, how are you? Uh, go make a friend, says uh, Kimberly. Jeremy says, go make a friend. Tracy says, I remember. I remember whenever mom used to kick me off the, the uh, swing and say, go make a friend, right? So if you're enjoying this, let me know because I, I want to I keep providing the heat, but I got to know you're, you're into it, right? Love it, love it, love it. Me, beautiful Jeremy. Kimberly says, love it. Arnold says, loving it. All right, create consistent content. Now, Here's what's going on, guys. Over the past one to five years, businesses, and maybe you included, have kind of washed their hands away from posting on Facebook. Why? And, and if you've done that, go ahead and be honest with me. Type in 777 in the comments. If you're a small business and you've kind of not posted because you don't get the engagement anymore, just type in 777 in the comments so I can see. Why is that? Well, Facebook is a pay-to-play environment if you don't know how to use their algorithm, okay? So how do you use their algorithm? Well, what Facebook wants is they want engagement. They want people to have fun on their platform and stay inside of Facebook, okay? So on your Facebook page, you need to be posting consistently. I'm not talking once a week. I'm not talking once every other week. I'm talking two, three, four, five times a day but never selling. Down the road, you can offer something. You can, hey, I'm having gift cards or hey, we're having a sale. But the majority of your content has to be value oriented, okay? Um, letting your audience, your fans, your friends, your tribe as some people call it, they need to understand um, let's see here. Jeremy says, I do the paid ads. Paid ads work great. Don't get me wrong. They work fantastic. And not everybody knows how to do that. And if you need help with paid ads, guys, just hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it. It's not that hard. Um, it's just getting your ROI, um, is what's important where there, or understanding that you may lose on the front end, but, um, can do stuff on the back end to recoup the investment and actually profit from it. It's a different thing. So doing consistent content is important, but it's not just about selling. See, what most businesses were doing is, hey, look at this image of something I have for sale today. And a lot of restaurants still do that. It's not the way to do it. Look at this image of what I have for sale. Look at this is for sale today. This is for sale today. Oh, guess what's for sale today, guys? And then everybody starts getting acclimated to the fact of all you're doing is posting what's for sale. And they don't care what's for sale. They don't care what's for sale. You know what they care about? They care about you. They care about your business. They care about your employees. They care about what's going on in your environment. That's the world we live in right now. We live in a world that um, it, we're a voyeur world. That's, that's what we do. We, we watch people. So you're a business, let them watch your business. Let them watch what you're comfortable allowing them to watch. Let them see, Jeremy, let them see you working on it, right? Hey, look at this one. Look at what I'm working on right now, right? Not, hey, you know, I have this for sale today. Hey, look what I'm working on. It's this new device. It's got the thing. And, and you guys have heard about this one. This one's one of the hottest ones out there. Man, everybody's getting this thing. But boy, whenever this specific thing goes wrong with it, all I have to do is go in there and do this. And boy, it's back to new, right? And they love that. They'll love watching that. But when you say, buy this, buy this, they don't want it. So... I challenge you as a small business to create consistent content daily, multiple times a day, but not sales content. You content. Content that has you and your employees and your staff and, and uh, your customers. Having your customers in your content is key. It's great to have your customers in your content. They love being in your content. They want to be seen out there on social media just as bad as, as you want your business to be seen. They want to be seen as well right? It's fantastic. Post live or just pictures or videos. Um, I recommend all the above. Okay. Um, now you guys know that I, I'm the CEO of Drop Mock here and we do uh, what we call mock it up. So you'll see me doing a lot of mock it ups where I'm holding signs and I put messages on that sign. That's the type of content that I like to do. Um, and also um, going live. 
Those are the two main things that I like to do where I'm not selling. All I'm doing is I'm providing quality content with my mock-ups, you know, me holding signs um, or my, my employees holding signs or me and my wife holding signs or whatever. And then going live, talking about what's going on for the day at lunch uh, through the, the rest of the day, what's going on next week. I'm always providing value, but never selling. The selling comes whenever they, they ask me, hey, um, do you have anything going on this week? Hey, do you have that specific uh, product back in stock? And that's done on Facebook Messenger. They engage with you because you're providing the value. All right, now, number three. Everybody type in number three if you're ready for number three. Now, this is, this is the one that um, some of you are going to have a problem with, but you need to understand it's very important. Everybody type in number three if you're ready for number three because it's a good one. And it's one that's gonna, you're, you're gonna be like, dang it. When you're posting consistently and you're doing it all the time, that's a great thing, okay? You're gonna build rapport with your audience and they're gonna love it, I'm telling you. They love the more you just be authentic. Be who you are. Don't be me, don't be Bob, don't be Sally. Be you, be authentically you and they'll fall in love with you because who you are was created by one awesome God and you are who you are because of that, right? All right, and show that to people and the people that are supposed to be around you will start to show up. The people that aren't, they won't be around so you don't have to worry about it, all right? So that being said, what do you have to do now? Now you're posting consistently. You made some friends out there. You did the childhood advice. You got the friends now. Now what do you do? Now you have an offer. You want to do something, you want to do something kind for your audience and you want to do an offer. You want to do something special. When you do that, do it aggressively and multiple times. Okay? Don't be shy about it. As long as you know that you've been doing the right things, you have a servant heart, you're making friends, you're providing value on a consistent basis to your fans, your, your friends, your audience. There's nothing wrong because you are in business to say, you know what, over the past 10 days, I've been providing you guys all kinds of value. You know what, today I want you guys to know one thing. Not only um, is these employees working today and you know tomorrow we have this going on, but I want you guys to know I have a special offer for you today. And the offer is buy this, get this, or 25% off this. Don't do 5% off something. It's just not worth it, guys. Make it value, just total value where people are like, I got to get that offer. And then once you make the offer, do it multiple times consistently. You know those people, the they people? They say it takes 8 to 16 times. I don't know what number it is before somebody actually buys. It's one of those numbers. We all heard a different number. Some say 7, some say 8, some say 16. I don't know what the number is. All I know is you got to tell them more than once. Because they may not have seen your uh, offer today. They, they may not have been on Facebook. They may have been at the beach. They may... I don't know. May not even just seen your... For whatever reason, the algorithm didn't show your, your uh, post right? So you have to do it multiple times and don't be afraid of it as long as you did the other two first. Made some friends authentically by sharing your heart in the groups. They come to your page and you're providing consistent quality content to them on an ongoing basis. There's nothing wrong with making an offer and when you make that offer, do it aggressively multiple times. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this live stream and uh, it's the three things you can do right now to generate more clients and customers. I appreciate you. Stay tuned for my next live. I'm going to be providing more value to you guys um, if this. And if you like this, give me a 777 in the comments real quick if you want to keep me coming live and sharing this gold. I'm sharing gold with you guys, right? Who likes this content? Let me know. Right? Kimberly, awesome nuggets. Those are some big old golden nuggets. That's what we were doing, right? 777. Andre, right? 777. Keep it coming. Beautiful. Thank you guys so very much, and I'll see you on our next live. Take care, everyone.